And now the news for the East Midlands. I'm Amy Harris. Good evening. The business minister, Anna Soubry, has spoken out in favour of fracking, including potentially in her own East Midlands constituency. Her comments come on the day protesters took to the streets to oppose the process designed to recover gas and oil from underground shale rock. They say it could cause environmental damage, as Mike O'Sullivan reports. A wet Sunday morning around the Brian Clough statue in Nottingham. Around 30 protesters braving the conditions to highlight their worries about fracking. Places of, of beauty like Sherwood Forest and Atterbury Nature Reserve again are at risk uh, from fracking and um, the dangers that it can cause to the wildlife and ultimately to human life. Water will be contaminated and we don't know quite where that contaminated water will go. It could get into the um, water supply. In the East Midlands, there are huge deposits of shale rock in what's called the Widmerpool Gulf, north of Melton Mowbray. The business minister and Broxto MP told me she's in favour of fracking. Two companies have got permission to carry out tests in her constituency. It could affect areas around Stapleford, Beeston and Bramcote. Well, I've been persuaded that it's a good idea, so I hope to persuade other people uh, that it is a good idea. But having the debate, a proper informed debate, is critical. And the industry itself has now got to step up and make that case. There's already a Broxtow protest petition signed by nearly 650 people. And nearby today, there was another protest in Long Eaton. Mike O'Sullivan, BBC East Midlands Today, Derbyshire. Police have made a new